Hello and welcome to this video in which I'll show you how to use a TI-84 calculator to do complex computations of the sort that you use in AC steady state analysis. In this particular example, we'll do computations that would be similar to what you would find if you were doing a voltage divider. So here's my TI-84. The first thing we need to do is set the mode properly. So we hit the mode key and go down and select degrees rather than radians. So I move down to over one, hit enter, and then I go down again to this line that says real, over one, so I have A plus BI, and hit enter. So what I've done is set the calculator into degree mode and told it to, that we're going to be using complex numbers. So I'm not sure how normal people do this, but if I hit the clear button, this gets the calculator ready to do the computation. The first thing I need to do is enter 5 volts at an angle of 46 degrees. So we put in 5. And now to enter the angle, this is going to seem really complicated because it actually is. Then we hit second e to the x and our x is going to be 46. We would like to just leave it like this and put in 46 degrees. But unfortunately, even though the calculator is set in degree mode, when you're entering numbers in polar form, as we are here, you have to enter everything in radians. So I have 46 degrees and I need to convert that to radians. I will do it as follows. I add the i here because e raised to an imaginary number is the cosine of that imaginary number plus i times the sine of that imaginary number. So this is how we're getting the complex angle in. To finish converting to radians, I divide by 180. So now I have my 5 angle 46 degrees. Everything else will be a lot easier. Okay, now I want to multiply this by 1. 1 plus I2, and then divide 1 plus I2 plus two minus I three. And that gives me the result. Wasn't that easy? This result is displayed as its real and imaginary parts. If you want this result to be displayed in terms of a magnitude and angle, you do the following. You go to math, over two to complex, down to polar, and hit enter. And hit enter again, and there you have it. In polar form, this is 3.53, etc., and the angle is 127.869, etc., degrees. I get that by looking at the exponent times i. So, hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching.